Hey y'all, it's Lady C in the place to be. Lady C in the place to be. It's Lady C in the place to be. Do y'all want to do just a small grocery haul with me? Hey y'all, I am looking grungy today because I got lots to do. Um, so really not, don't, you know, you're not focusing on me. You're focusing on the haul of it all. So. Um, I'm just going to show you. Hubby had went out today. It is very rainy in Maryland. It's all just nasty outside. Um, we were doing a lot of running around the other day because it was nice and everybody was out and about and doing their thing. But today, it decided to rain on us, so we're chilling in the house. So Hubby ran out and got a few things that we needed. Um, and some things we didn't, but we got it anyway. So he got, uh, I'm going to show you guys what we got in this haul. Um, let's see, let's see you guys. Hubby got us some, excuse me y'all, snow crab clusters. Says five to eight count frozen wild, frozen wild, whatever. Um, it came with $20.95. They were having a sale, $8.99 a pound. So we got a pretty good amount, you guys. See those? So we'll be doing something with this. Some kind of boil, some adding it to something. You know how Hubby do. You know those will get eight. Um, he also got some Easy Peel Shrimp. Um, yeah, he got Easy Peel Shrimp. These were $6.99 a pound. And he got $7.27 worth of the shrimp. Let's see, he got some other stuff in here. Okay, I love these, you guys. He got, and they always seem to be so cheap. Um, we got some catfish nuggets, um, fresh firm, just as fresh firm. Um, these were only $5.24 for a pound. So you got a pound of these catfish nuggets. And these go a long way, you guys. So look for catfish nuggets in your grocery store because they taste good, fry them up. Um, we've never done anything but fry them. I guess you could do other stuff with it. Um, we could put it in a stew, um, you know, or a soup or something like that. But we love them. Okay, let's get to, let me see, Hubby had got, cause we've been, we, ever since St. Patrick's Day we made Kool-Aid, we didn't got hooked now, y'all. So now he got home some Kool-Aid, he's got lemonade, he's got grape, yeah, that classic grape, y'all. And then we got Tropical Punch. I remember Kool-Aid packets being bigger than this, y'all. So I think they just, they went real low. Look how little these are, so funny. I know I'm old because I remember them being a lot bigger. Okay, let's see the. Hubby oh, got some carrots. We're gonna roast some veggies today for dinner. Um, we've got some chicken wings that I think we're gonna bake up and season. And um, he said he's gonna roast some veggies, so we're gonna roast carrots with sweet potato and Brussels sprout. Yummy! That's gonna be good. Oh. I'll be showing you. I'll be taking pictures, so I'll show you guys how it all comes out. Um, we got some nanas. We've been trying to, you know, keep some fruit in the house. And we got some good old grapes. Oh, yeah. And we got some pineapple. Pineapple, y'all. Yeah. Um, we've been taking our... Um, Probiotic dailies, we do Activia. I love these, you guys, you just drink them up. What I really could start doing, you guys, cause I did buy a Ninja. Um, I could take these and put them in a smoothie. Um, cause I have some coconut milk and I have some uh, fruit in the freezer and I'm probably making smoothies, I haven't done it. But you could take these and mix them in with your smoothie, whatever you wanna do. So we love these, we keep them on hand all the time. Oh, well, hubby just showed me something he added to the fruit. Now, he likes to buy the little watermelon. This is for him. I don't like watermelon. He tries to get me to eat it. I do not. So, um, this is for him. He gets these little small watermelons. Um, they're usually not that expensive, and he loves them. Oh so, God. he said this is $4.99. And he'll take it and cut it up. You know, you can buy them cut up, which we do. But you can take this and cut it up. It's cheaper. And just put it in like a container, and he eats on it at nighttime. That's his uh, nighttime snack. 
So he wanted to show you on his snack and snack. Um, also had to get, I had to make an emergency run to get my coffee. Now I am not a coffee drinker, you guys. I just recently started drinking this. This is decaf because I don't drink caffeine, caffeinated coffee. This is Nature's Promise Organic and it's Sumatra decaf. You guys, this tastes just like you are drinking caffeine coffee and it has a wonderful flavor. I love it. So I had hubby running out because it's very limited. Like I can't find it. Um, the only place we could get it from was Giant. So I had to have hubby go get this because I love it. So we got that. Um, hubby got some Sylvia's golden uh, cornbread and corn muffin mix. Like that. Um, he loves these, so he had to get himself a box of these. These frosted mini wheats. I don't eat these, but hubby loves them. And they're good for you. Um, we got some, this is really good, the Cajun crab dip. We like to sit around, you can eat these with some crackers or dip, you know, I mean with crackers or potato chips, whatever you want to eat them with. But we got some of that Cajun crab dip. He snuck some candy in here, you guys. Um, sometimes you just got to have that sugar rush. We got some almond joys. I love almond joys. And I needed some seasoning because I'm going to do that corn, well, it's called the Three Amigos Challenge. I'm going to try to do that, you guys. So um, when I do it, I will put the video out. But here is the tahine. And we had a very hard time trying to find this also. Um, but my husband went to the local uh, Mexican grocery store, which we should have thought about going to in the first place, and got this. Um, so we did get the tahine. That's for street corn. And then hubby got some, I've never seen this. They have the Jollof rice seasoning. Um, you get that in a regular grocery store? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got this in Giant. So um, you can use that for your Jollof rice. Um, I thought I had missed something, y'all. Oh, I did. Had to get the eggs of it all. We eat eggs. We usually will, um, we have an egg cooker, so we will boil them for breakfast in the morning, or we'll just be cooking eggs. We love eggs. Well, I love eggs. So um, we got other than that, you guys, that's it for the haul. I just wanted to show you guys what we got. Um, I'll be putting something out later today. Um, but that's about it for now. Hope everybody is safe. Um, you know, blessed. Be careful, you guys, out in these streets. Put your masks on, wash your hands. And Lady C will be talking at you guys later. Love ya. Smooches and bye-bye. Hey y'all, it's Lady Seek in the place to be. Lady Seek, let me fix the light, y'all. Lady Seek in the place to be. Lady Seek in the place to be. Do y'all want to fix some Sunday dinner with me? Okay, y'all. Now, I'm coming back um, just to show y'all what I'm making for dinner today. We got some chicken wings, chicken wings. You see all that seasoning? See all that good seasoning on there? I took some chicken wings, plain chicken wings. We washed them, rinsed them, and I put some good old garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, some Susana Dor Total. This is my favorite seasoning, my go-to. Some poultry seasoning is another one of my favorites. And some Mrs. Dash, the original. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder to it. So we're going to put that onion powder. And I'm going to get, if my, well. You olive oil? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying. Then I'm going to take some, roll up them sleeves. You know, you know how it goes. I'm going to roll up them sleeves. Then I'm going to put some olive oil in here. I'm gonna rub it. Yeah, you got to rub it down. Okay, you guys, so here is our olive oil. Hubby just opened a brand new bottle for me because we had run out. Um, this is literally uh, first cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. Oh, and it's rosemary infused. Y'all see that? So, I think I picked this up at like Marshall's or somewhere, Ross or somewhere like that, you guys. So, this is one we haven't tried before. So, I usually just take the olive oil, gonna put a little bit on there. I better be careful because it's got the rosemary in it. I don't want to mess up my other seasoning. 
So I just put a little. Huh? Oh, see that? Got all that seasoning, it's got that. And then my hands are clean. I'm going to get in there, get in there, get in there. And get it all seasoned up. And I'll show y'all when I'm done. Just going to get ready. And I'm going to bake this, you guys. But I'm going to bake it and then I'm going to put um, a little bit of barbecue sauce and some other sauces on it. Um, but I'm going to let it bake first just with the seasoning. Because um, you want to make sure your, your liquids, your barbecue sauce and all that sticks. Because I like a good coating on it. So we're going to put these seasoned. Look at that. I'm going to put our seasoned wings in the oven on 350. Um, and I'm going to check it usually uh, anywhere from an hour to two hours, you guys. I don't, I don't time it, so I don't really know. Um, but I'm going to take this. I'm not going to put... Well, you know what? I am. I'm sorry. I'm going to take this, put it in the oven on 350. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil and let it cook like that. Then I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take the aluminum foil off. I'm going to put the barbecue sauce and some other sauces, and I'll show you guys that, on it. Then I'm going to put it back in the oven and let it bake without the aluminum foil. Okay? So I'll come back and show y'all once it's done. Well, once it comes out of the oven. Okay, y'all, I'm back. My chicken, my chicken wings are in the oven, y'all. So I season them up. I'm going to make a sauce when they come out. I'll show y'all that. Okay, now we are doing roasted vegetables. They're good for y'all. Um, let me show y'all. We're doing... Okay, y'all. So we have roasted carrot. I mean, I roasted, sorry, y'all. We got chopped carrot. We got some chopped Brussels sprouts. We cut them in half. And we got some sweet potatoes we cut up. So we're gonna take these and just have roasted veggies. So we're gonna take the cut up vegetables and give y'all an idea of what I'm about to do to this up in here. Um, Let's see if this pan is gonna fit everything. This is my, I love these glass pans. This one is a Halloween pan, you guys. <laughs> so those are spiders. But we're gonna take all our veggies that we wanna roast, put them in this pan. They've been rinsed already. And we cut them up. Well, this pan is probably too small, y'all, but we're gonna do we're gonna work with it. We gonna work with it. Or I'll just use this to show you guys and then I'll change it over. But that's what you got. Really and truly, you like wanna have them in like a um a more shallow pan because you wanna have them spread out. Um I'm just gonna get me a pan, y'all. Okay. So, um, this pan was too small, y'all. See how that is? I want it to be spread out. So, I got a bigger one, bigger pan, just so I can spread all my veggies out. So, I'm gonna take them out of this pan and put them in their larger pan. So, they'll be spread out and can cook better. Yeah, they need space. Make sure all of them get nice and brown. <coughs> so that's better. See how that is, you guys? Okay, so we got our veggies in the pan, all spaced out. I don't like to put too much seasoning on them. Um, I'm gonna put some my Mrs. Dash, the original. Because really and truly, you just want the veggies to have their own flavor, but you give them just a little kick. So I'm going to put some Mrs. Dash on them. And it's to your taste, however much you want to do. And I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder. And that's because those are the things I like. Garlic always kicks it up a notch. And, it's good, and garlic's good for you, so add garlic whenever you can. Now, sometimes, instead of using the powdered garlic, we have uh, minced garlic, and I'll take minced garlic, mix that in. But today, yeah, I'm not feeling it, so we're not gonna do that. Now, I got some olive oil. 
This helps it to cook, so I'm going to put some olive oil, and it gives you the flavor. So I'm going to put some olive oil all over these veggies. So you got your vegetables with your seasoning and your olive oil all over them. Now, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna mix them all up so they get nice and coated with the olive oil and all the seasoning. And this is an easy meal, you guys. If you wanted to just view as a vegetarian, You'd be good to go because you could throw as many veggies as you want in here. Just roast them and have them for dinner. Okay, but now is the kicker. You take a little bit. Now, I normally we would do honey and a little bit of brown sugar. I'm just going to do honey today. Take a little bit of this honey and you're going to put it over top of them. Just drizzle. You're not going to put too much because you just want to give it a little bit of sweet, you know. And if you're not the type of person that goes for the sweet, then don't put it on. But I like, this will just give it a little bit of goodness. And it'll be good. Let me show y'all. I've started to be a, a honey lover. I really was not. See how that looks so pretty? With your, with your olive oil and your um, honey over top. So, now, you're just going to let these sit. When you put them in the oven, you put them in there and you just let them roast. Um... You can put it on broil if you want them to be, you know, faster or whatever. I'm not in a big hurry. My chicken's in the oven. I'm waiting on that anyway. So we can just put these in and either let them just bake on down or, or broil them however you want them to come out. So I just want to show you guys that. I'll be back to show you what I do to my chicken. Put the barbecue sauce on. Talk at y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all. Wanted to come back and show y'all what rice we were using. This is rice aroni cilantro lime. We just want to come back and show you what rice we were using. Okay, hey y'all, I'm back. Woo, I know it look crazy. But, um, got my chicken out the oven, you guys. You know, I seasoned it up, put it in the oven to bake. Took it out. Now I'm gonna put some sauce on it. We're gonna put some Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce on there. I'm gonna mix that with some tiger sauce. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha. So, let me get, um, let me see if I got a brush or something. To... Hold on, maybe not. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So here we go, you guys. We're going to put, take some of this. Got my little brush. And take some of this. Sweet baby rays. And we're gonna put that all over our chicken. Okay, so that's gonna be good, y'all. Okay. Now I could have mixed this all up in a bowl, but I'm really not trying to do that. I'm not with that. Not tonight. So we got our sweet baby rays. We're gonna put a little bit of the tiger sauce. We really don't have that much tiger sauce left. <laughs> I'm gonna mix that in. I'm gonna give it a different flavor today. And it's hardly, yeah, I might as well use this bottle. That's it. We didn't use this time. This time it's gone, y'all. <laughs> and we're gonna mix in a little sriracha for the kick. Not too much, but we're gonna give it a little, let me see. Go like that. Yeah. Then we're gonna take our little brushy brush and we're gonna brush our chicken. And we have a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the pan. You know, you get that grease off the chicken. So you're gonna take that, dip your brush in there and just get your chicken all coated up. I'm sorry I can't give you all a better view down into the pan, you guys, but this chicken is hot and I don't wanna move it around too much because I don't want to burn myself. <laughs> uh, this looks good though, y'all. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get me some pan things and I'll hold it up so y'all can see when I get done. Mm -hmm. Might need a little bit more sauce on it. Cause I don't like my sauce to cook off, so. 
we may put a little bit more. And a little bit more to Sweet Baby Ray Girl. I'm a very saucy girl. I like really saucy barbecue chicken. My husband, on the other hand, that's not his cup of tea. Neither, I have one daughter that likes it and another one that's more like her father. She don't really, she's not a big saucy girl. I like them. I like them coated with it. But now my husband has changed me a little bit that to where I eat it just, you know, it don't have to be like that. So. Did y'all see, I saw the video, well, I saw on Instagram, B-Love was at the sh uh, gun range shooting guns, you <laughs> I need to learn how to shoot some guns. Okay, I'm not going to put no Siraja on, no more Siraja on it, because Siraja will make it hot. <laughs> and y'all ain't going to have me burning up in her. So, let me get... There, there we go. There's that barbecue chicken, you guys. And I may even take it out and, um, you know, and baste it again. Is that's what you know? That's what I do with that juice. Is when it's you know, you take it out, baste it again. However you want it to come out. Um, but that's our chicken, and we're about to put this back in the oven. Um, our roasted vegetables are still in there. Let's see. They're probably about done you guys but i'm gonna let them go a little bit longer because we like ours to be nice and brown and crunchy so hubby may turn it on boil and then we'll be good to go mm -hmm. so we're going to take our chicken and put it back in the oven There's our roasted vegetables. They're basically done. Uh, we may put them on broil because we like ours to get nice and crunchy and brown. So that's it for now, y'all. Um, the rice is cooking. I'll come out and show y'all everything when it's done. Talk at you later, y'all. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all, I'm just here to show y'all my plate because <laughs> it's late and I'm tired, but I want y'all to show this. There's that cilantro lime rice. Yummy, yummy, look at that. There's that chicken, barbecue chicken. I made those wings. Look at them wings, y'all. And mm, they are, man, look at those roasted veggies. I seasoned them up, hubby cut them up. I seasoned them up and then we poured a little bit of olive oil and um, honey on top of them. Man, they looking good. It's sweet potatoes, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. Mm, 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 mm. So we are about to throw down, you guys. I just wanted to show you what we were eating on. Gotta go. Gonna go watch TV and eat. Watch some basketball. Love y'all. Lady C is out. Be safe. You know, smooches. Good night, y'all.